Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Today in History. Today is November 21st, uh, 2022. Uh, not many uh, events that happened today in history, but uh, we'll share uh, some anyway. Uh, first off, uh, today in... Uh, uh, today in 1934, uh, Cole Porter's musical, Anything Goes, opens in New York. Cole Porter was a playwright. Uh, also today in 1783, uh, Montgolfier Balloon uh, makes first flight. Uh, it's pretty pretty long time ago, 1783. Uh, also today in 1910 was the death of Leo Tolstoy. Uh, Leo Tolstoy was a uh, Russian uh, author. Uh, he wrote the book uh, War and Peace. And he was, uh, let's see, he was um, 82, uh, I believe, uh, when he died. Yeah, 82. And, uh, let's see, some other events. Uh, ah, Superpowers Reach Agreement, 1985. The so-called fire Fireside Summit between Presidents uh, Reagan and Gorbachev, their first, ended today with a broad measure of agreements to work for a 50% cut in their respective strategic nuclear arsenals. A range of other issues was also discussed, such as the immigration of Soviet Jews, Jewish people, and the need to avoid a repetition of the Korean Airlines tragedy. <laughs> and finally, some birthdays today. First birthday we have today is Harpo Marx, who was born on this day in 1888. He was an American comedian, uh, one of the famous Marx brothers, who uh, remained uh, entirely mute. Uh, mute is somebody who doesn't talk, so somebody who's silent, basically. And being mute is a popular form of comedy. They call that pantomime. The other birthday we have today is Harold Ramis, who would have been uh, 78 today. He was a uh, direct. He was a movie director and actor. He directed and starred in uh, many great comedy movies uh, throughout the 1980s and the ni and 90s. Some of his best known movies were uh, Caddyshack, Stripes, Groundhog Day, National Lampoon's Vacation, Analyze This, Analyze That. And also Ghostbusters, uh, in which he played the role of scientist Egon Spangler. Harold Ramis uh, starred alongside uh, Saturday Night Live actors Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, as well as actor Ernie Hudson. Ghostbusters, of course, became a huge pop culture phenomenon when it was first released in theaters in the spring of 1984. It was actually so popular that in 1986... Uh, a cartoon series called The Real Ghostbusters premiered on ABC. Uh, it aired for seven seasons and ended in 1991. Uh, during the final years of his life, Harold Ramis suffered from, uh, stru uh, battled a rare disease called autoimmune inflammatory vasculitis. It's a rare disease. Uh, it's swelling of the blood vessels. In other words, he lost the ability to walk, and the disease eventually made him mute. His health deteriorated, and he died in the winter of 2014 at the age of 69. And because he was a very popular comedian and actor, Harold Ramis received many memorials and tributes. That's it for Today in History. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like the video, share it with your friends, comment down below, and please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Uh, in fact, I will see you for a Thanksgiving special uh, this Thursday, Thanksgiving. So goodbye for now.